Get ready for the whole damn show. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds. Rob Van Dam! A man who lives his life way up high. of ECW, RVD is a man who sets the bar very high. Guys, there is only one Rob Van Dam. Hardcore icon is here. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say things are about to get crazy. And his opponent from Philadelphia, weighing in at 240 pounds, the Sandman. You want to get hardcore? You want to get extreme? The Sandman is more than ready to brawl. Yeah, a man who can definitely hack it in hardcore environments, but can throw fists by the book as well. It's just simple, guys. Sandman just wants to fight and will enjoy every second of it, no matter the rules. Well, he's not the only one who's going to enjoy it. Rob Van Dam really is one of a kind, folks. His innovative offense, that unorthodox in-ring style that's defined his entire career, and of course, his laid-back demeanor. Yeah, RVD is well known for consistently blazing a, a trail in this industry. With all that in mind, you can see why he's always been able to keep his opponents on their toes. And he's facing one of the most extreme we've ever seen, the Sandman. Well, Sandman might not be the most technical superstar in the world, but that hasn't stopped him from obtaining championship gold through sheer toughness and grit. The kind of things that can only be learned on the mean streets of Philadelphia. And that was an expertly executed DDT. Wow. Left hook. Drop kick hits the mark. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Good punch. measure. Corey, what strategy do you recommend when 
taking on someone with dynamic offense like Rob Van Dam. It won't be easy, but work on RVD's stamina. If you tire him out, it'll be harder for RVD to execute his most dangerous moves. So target his core and sap RVD's energy reserves. Thrown back in under the ropes. And that holds RVD back. Oh my lord, what is he? Oh, gross! How barbaric! And finds a counter. And the Sandman with a counter. Big back body drop. Now he's been put on the defensive. Sandman getting the better of his opponent on that one. Russian leg sweep. He's one step ahead there. Oh, oh no! Stun gun! RVD up the turnbuckles. Oh my god! Moonsault! Did you see that height? Off into the pin. Two! Barely kicks out. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. Isolating the leg. Leg breaker. Oh, moonsault. Man, did you see the height on that? A show of confidence from RVD. Fat Dan was scouted there. Caught with a punch. Oh, man, I don't know if Van Dam's okay. He is busted wide open. Strong form. Oh, what a right! Yeah, that's some attitude behind it. Delivering nasty stomps. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Being carried around with ease. My goodness! Oh. And then look at that! RVD is getting picked apart right now. Good strategy. Working RVD's core, tiring him out, and draining his stamina. Coming back into the ring, back to the action. Some intimidation tactics from the Sandman. Boom! The Sandman firing up. He's looking a little weary now. Van Dam using whatever avenue of attack he can find. He's heading up top. Thinking big. His eyes are fixated. He's looking to end this. Here we go. Diving cannonball sent time. There they go. Rolling thunder. RBD putting his body on the line there. High risk, high reward. Got out of that position with the desperation jawbreaker. He saw that. Uh oh. Oh no. Trader pile drive. RVD. Crucial moment for the Sandman. Shoulders down. That's it. The blood and sweat put into this match. Well worth it. Here is your winner, Rob Van Dam. And Rob Van Dam stands tall here with the W under his belt. When all is said and done, RVD couldn't be topped. The win secured, and it's high times for Van Dam tonight.
And here we go. Wasting little time. The brawl's underway. The bell hasn't even rung yet. If this is any indication, this is going to be a wild matchup. Well, the match is starting outside the ring. Two teams with nothing in common and no middle ground. Finally, this match is officially underway, and the intensity is incredibly high as evidence of the way this match started. These superstars were certainly in a hurry to get this started. That was a brilliant strategy, guys. Throw your opponents off by taking the fight to them. Out of the way in time. once again impresses with his particular brand of athleticism. Yes, tag! Not oh, target of the arm. Brutality. Practically never-ending blows. Coming at full force here. Powerless position to be in right now. Oh, man, taking it to the trachea. It comes Kane. Bread basket. Down with force. Shifts the attack into an inverted DDT. He got whipped into that corner. Gotta hurt. Not a whole lot you can do with a bum wing, guys. Targeting the throat there. Continuing to attack the neck across the top rope. Here's the snapmare. Followed by the knee drop. That'll fracture an orbital. Here he comes off the tag. He made it. Tag made. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Oh, great counter! The Undertaker! Uh-oh. Arm drag provides an escape. They are both seeing red right now. This level of hostility is only going to lead to bad, bad things, guys. Wrapping the arm over that top rope. Attacking the arm. Getting the upper hand by taking away your opponents. Oh, caught by the back elbow. He's absorbed some damage already. And Prince showing he has what it takes to get the job done there. And that was a hell of a combination we just witnessed. DDT by The Undertaker. There he 
goes right into the corner. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Planning on what to do next. Oh, God. Face first. Stopped him in their tracks with a kick to the gut. He turns it around on Prince. Punch right in the head. Right to the kidneys from behind. Boom! Slam! With authority. Boom! <laughs> Drop kick! Great height. The audacity and the pressure of it. He may get the three count right here. This is it. And he only stays down for a one count. Wow, I thought this was over. Oof. Placed in the corner. for that one. Oh, that's a good Boom! Oh, what a job. Crucial moment for The Undertaker. The cover! And he stops the count for his partner. Tag! Oh, heavy duty right hand. Showing out their deadlifting prowess and just tossing them aside. And here is Kane in off the tag. Right hand drives him out of the corner. Oh, Kane counters. Got to find a way to get out of this. Tossed around like a rag doll. Back elbow smash, nothing fancy. Absolutely spiked DDT. And he sends him into the corner. Double axe handle. Wow, incredible impact. Stop in the leg. Nice side headlock applied. Oh, what a good punch. measure. Tag made, fresh man in. Oh, over and over, knees in the corner. That's relentless. Finds the room to land a back elbow. Planted by the DDT. Climbing to the top rope. Taking flight. No, 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 the end may be in sight for his opponent here. Not what you want to see by any means. Nice clothesline. Set up in the corner of the ring. Into a gut buster. Well done. Kids ready for something. Driven through the ground. Wilson was right on target. And there's the save. A mistake made by Wilson. And he's able to reverse.
Taking a hold of Wilson here. Down, down by the DDT. Oh, he's got him here. He's got him up. And Devil's favorite sidewalk slam. This fight has to be seen to be believed. Who will prevail? True greats are at their best when their backs are against the wall. Boom! Cutting off the count in the nick of time. Down a perfect vertical suplex. He's starting to struggle here. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Paul? Tag made. Tag made. Snapmare takedown. Oh, my. Single leg drop kick. For Kane now. No doubt about it. It is do or die for the devil's favorite demon at this point. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. No oh, oh, oh. Kick to the gut creates separation. Knee lift. Tagged in. from Prince. Getting him into the corner. Uh-oh. Paying it right back with a Ah, uh, classic! Oh, no. Tombstone! Prince is in the worst Hit. way now. Wow, just barely making it out. Can you imagine how much escaping that pin must have cost him? I can. These are the moments when you really find out how tough you are. And don't think that outcome is going to change Kane's approach. He's as hell-bent as ever. From the top, toe down. 
down to own it, and a double axe handle smash. The Undertaker is tagged in. Tag made here. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, double impact. Taker's about to end another fight. Try to end it. He got the win. That is a huge win here tonight. Here are your winners. The Undertaker and Kane, the brothers of destruction. And so it's clever tricks and unorthodox tactics that win the day this time. Let's not ruin this moment of celebration. They earned this. Earned it with sneaky tactics. Well, strategy without tactics is the slowest route to victory, Saxton. Yeah, let's get the party started. Whoop, whoop. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, the team of Katana Chance and Kaden Carter. Somehow their energy's already turned up to 11. Get ready for some super athletic competition from Chance and Carter, folks. I cannot wait to see it. And the after party is going to be pretty great as well. A Hall of Famer and one of the trailblazers in the women's division. And their opponents first. From Forest Lake, Minnesota, Molly Holly. A multiple time women's champion and also held the hardcore title. Perhaps the toughest woman in WWE history and she's got the Hall of Fame ring to prove it. Here comes the boat of WWE. And from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalia. Oh, uh, Natalia, one of the all-time greats, really a trailblazer in the women's division here in WWE, and going to bring that uh, expertise and experience here to NXT. You know, we've seen Natalia's confidence shaken a few times as of late. She's had some tough roadblocks in her path. If I know Natty, she's laser focused on smashing through the obstacles and regaining that confidence. When it comes to two talents, you don't want to underestimate Caden Carter and Katana Chance have to be pretty high on that list within the women's division. 
According to Carter and Chance, there's no greater freedom than being underestimated. Because when you... Oh, now she's looking to apply the pressure with this submission maneuver. Oh, but... Almost a miraculous escape and a side slam. Oh, man. And Holly expected that. with a punch. Left by the turnbuckles. Followed by Atome, Atomico! It's got to be demoralizing when you're the combatant on the wrong side of the double team. Maybe you want to rework the game plan about now. Torturous focus on the leg, punishing the leg. Tendons and ligaments in the leg can be easily damaged by that. All the way up for a suplex. No, 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 wiggles free from behind. Chop block. That's a tag. Here's a tag. Setting up for something. Off the top rope, what a double team. Wow. Evading offense. Great reaction from Holly. Bam! Ooh, what a right corner. Hard shot. And flip the counter. She flips it back on her. Oh, and back of the elbow. Oh, straight forearm. She could do it here. She was close to the end there. She's still as determined as ever. She's on unsteady legs in the corner, needs to recover. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. Able to get there in time. Oh, swift takedown. Chop block turns the tide on their offense. Textbook neck breaker. That's how you wear down your opponent. Crank in the head. Oh, that might have just broken something. And look at this now. Bad intentions coming with this hole. She avoids the attack completely. And Caden was scouted there. Opponents all wrapped up and uh, Cobra clutch into the fireman's carry takeover. She's beginning to flag a little. Destructive offense from Natalia. Tossed into the corner. Diving splash in the corner. Able to tag her partner. Here she comes! <laughs> Hurricane Rana! Unbelievable athleticism. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. The top rope. Ooh, what a hot shot. Boom. Oh, right across the throat. Up and down. What a slam. Oh, man, by the hair. Hair whip. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. Blow to the abdomen gets them out of that. Oh, look at head scissors. Boom! Head scissors, DDT! Hung out to dry. Getting tossed. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. Delivers a kick right to the gut, off the ropes. Into a hurricane runner. Spiked him. 
shoulders down. Oh, barely kicks out. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. And she's stunned to the corner. Yikes, that'll need a wake you up or knock you out. And chance now, Chain needs some offense together. You cannot stop Katana when she's going like this. All right, Hurricane Rana. Partner tags in. Oh, I'd love to see this. The hammerlock flatline. Carter has her target in sight. Oh, and Molly Holly answers back. Oh, what a really great swinging neck breaker. On the attack from behind, textbook neck breaker. in off the tag. Great counter. Face first in the turnbuckle. And the boat struggling a bit to stay afloat there. Carter's tenacity worked in her favor. She covers for the pin. And she thwarts the pin attempt in one. This battle rages on. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Carter going up high. From the top. Oh, an elbow drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. Cover. Two. She kicks out with force. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. And she'll make the tag. Countered with the knee to the face. Reversal! Can she capitalize? No. Natty by nature. <laughs> Veteran confidence and mind games on display from Natalia. with a few battle scars. And now she delivers her back into the ring. Strike to the back. Just hot shot it to the outside. Oh, this is Natalia's wheelhouse. The Hart family legacy lives on. Sharpshooter applied. Oh, no. There's the save. How close was that? Here's the cover for the win. Here are your winners. The team of Molly Holly and Natalya. Tag team chemistry in full effect with these two superstars. Each of these women could contend for a title alone, but together they may never lose a match.
You know, at one time, this man was the richest in the history of WWE. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Palm Beach, Florida, weighing in at 260 pounds, the NXT UK Champion, the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. Well, be on high alert because the results of this match might be a little fishy. I wouldn't be surprised if the Million Dollar Man paid off the referee. Well, Saxon, I happen to have a handful of Benjamins that say that you're lying. An all-time great in the ring, being rich is a bonus to DiBiase. Yeah, but listen, Michael, we all know money doesn't buy everything. Yeah, but it does buy most of the good stuff. As a million-dollar man always says, everybody has a price. Gentlemen, the final grain of sand in the hourglass has fallen. There are only two things left for the competition to do tonight. Fall and pray. The Million Dollar Man lives his life outside the ring in the lap of luxury, looking down on everyone else from his private jet or being chauffeured around in a stretch limo. But he will have to get his hands dirty here. Well, you know, Michael, for the Million Dollar Man, there's no problem he can't buy his way out of. I wouldn't be surprised if he's already taken measures to ensure everything goes his way here. In fact, I bet the Victory Champagne is already on ice backstage. Well, hopefully that wasn't a miscalculation on his part. Money can't solve every problem in the ring. But the devil's work is never done, and Karrion Cross is living proof of that. With a combination of intense ruthlessness and devious mind games, Cross isn't someone you look past. He's someone who runs through you. Mind, body, and... Watch out! Oh, oh my God! That might be it. What? Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? Getting the shoulder up before two tells me the end is not near. What a forearm. Vicious, downright savage club right there. Big back body drop. What elevation. Cross looking a little less inevitable after that hit. Yeah, old school efficiency shown here from the Million Dollar Man as he just wears his opponent down. Karrion Cross boasts an impressive physique. 
But what's the best way for him to utilize that power tonight? Cross needs to mix that strength with ruthless precision. By making targeted attacks, he can use all that muscle to debilitating effect and end his opponent's night quick. Up high. Nobody home. Cross out of harm's way. Good God, that's devastating. Oh, and DiBiase able to counter. Oh, running knee lift. And picks the leg, looking for the ankle lock submission. The ankle lock, the ankle lock is in. There's no escape, oh, hold on. Maybe there is. Oh, impressive counter. Jerry and Cross, watch this power. F10 with the F10 face buster. And that could be a sign of the last sands falling down the hourglass. Jerry and Cross truly is your inevitable doom. I thought I'd seen some incredible rivalries in my time, but this might take the cake. Yeah, this has redefined the meaning of bad blood. On a molecular level, they are incompatible. They utterly and completely detest each other. DiBiase has an opening. Swing neck breaker. He's struggling a bit here. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Catches the kick. Spectacular counter into a dragon screw. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, oh. man. Assailing the joints of the leg. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. So much torque on the knee and ankle. Lands an elbow. And they're going shot for shot, multiple blow. Nothing pretty here, just good old fashioned fisticuffs. You can feel the contact, and so does the WWE Universe. Ooh. Fist after fist, neither one relenting here. I thought they were going to keep that up all night. Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. Shots. Oh, another lights. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Loving blow. Out of the turnbuckle into an overhead suplex. Think he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Gut wrench applied. Big time suplex. But there's more to come. A second gut wrench suplex. An overbearing amount of offense against the Million Dollar Man. I like what Cross is doing here. Looking to land targeted attacks to deal damage with ruthless precision. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? Reciprocating the initial reversal. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Elbow drop. Piercing. These competitors have been unloading on each other since the bell. Just looking for that window of opportunity. And now might be the time to seize the moment. Now's the time to keep the pressure on. Oh, claws piercing into the skin. Russian leg sweep. Maybe not. Now 
is huge. What a clothesline! Ouch. And DiBiase is showing off his skills. DiBiase cannot be stopped right now. From way up. Ooh. Oh. Carefully measuring. Oh, look at the well placed elbow right on the mark. Gary and Cross. Oh. There's the cross hammer. Will Cross make it pay off? Makes the cover. Oh, he gets the shoulder up before three. Where in the world is he getting this from? His beating heart will not be stopped. That act of defiance is only going to provoke Karrion Cross. For a fisherman buster. A uh, heel hook. Look at this. Oh, that's so painful. It's hard to watch, too. Stretching and tearing at all the ligaments in the leg. An overbearing amount of offense against the Million Dollar Man. DiBiase needs to rethink his strategy. What a scene. The raid has arrived. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Viking Raiders from Valhalla. Weighing in at 247 pounds, one half of the NXT Tag Team Champions, Eric. You can just feel the ferocity of this trio. Yeah, Eric and Ivar are vicious as it is, but when you add Valhalla, it's even worse. Her presence certainly alters things. It's almost like she awakens their bloodlust. Can this guy match the power, experience, and the mind games of Bray Wyatt?
Just look at these absolute studs. It's the weapons of mass destruction. And his opponent, accompanied by John Cena, representing weapons of mass destruction from parts unknown. Weighing in at 285 pounds, Bray Wyatt. We are looking at the hottest team to ever hit Saturday nights. They're not really a team, Corey. I mean, Cena's being brainwashed, I believe. Brainwashed? I think Bray Wyatt makes Cena better. I disagree. John Cena is being reduced to his physique and his power. Those are the tools Bray Wyatt needs to dominate WWE. Eric is a man who clearly knows how to have a good time. Always feasting and living life to the fullest. But the moment he steps in the ring, he's all business. Between the ropes, Eric is just as fearsome as his attire and war paint would have you believe. He's a brawler who has the power to put down just about any opponent that crosses his path. And with that ferocious look of determination on his face, Eric appears ready for a brawl in this one. And with Bray Wyatt, you can never quite tell if his opponent is the man standing across the ring from him or someone inside of his own head. I think Wyatt would tell you that's because he's caught. And shoulders are down. And Bray Wyatt kicks out. And those kickouts are only going to get harder. Uh-oh. Eric gets countered. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Ugh. Insulting. Making a mockery of your opponent could eventually backfire. <laughs> Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. <laughs> Able to interrupt the attack. And Eric escapes danger. Bray Wyatt loves to play mind games both before and during his matches. With that in mind, Corey, how exactly do you approach a match against Wyatt? Well, it's easier said than done, Cole, but you can't allow Wyatt to get inside your head. You can't let the mind games work on you, because the second that they do, then you've already lost. And that broke Bray down a bit for a change. Yeah, Eric with a very efficient form of offense. Attack to the midsection. So ruthless. He can end it here. And he breaks the count quickly. He's still in this. He steers clear of contact. Fez Press raining down right hands. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. Disgusting behavior. There was no respect shown there. That was just wrong. You should be a better person than that. Big forearm. Able to sidestep it. And responds with a counter of their own. Oh, Bray had it scouted. Quick back elbow detours that offense. Escapes danger. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. And that was a hell of a DDT there. He's on his heels a bit now. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. And Bray gets stopped in his tracks. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. He might get caught. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Trapped in the corner, no escape from these punches. Turns it around, sole of foot meets the stomach.
much longer. Oh, the elbow connects. Denied and reversed into a DDT. Braves feeling a sense of confidence here. Oh, taking it right to him. No waiting. A manager grabbing anything under the ring is beyond unfair. It's just downright evil. Big knee to the midsection. Bray is reeling in real danger now. Human in the soul of Bray Wyatt. It's the only explanation for what we just saw. And the heaviest hitter in the arsenal was not enough. Forearm just raking across the face. A consistent attack being mounted on Wyatt. And he's managed not to let Bray Wyatt's mind games play a major part in this match. With his mind clear, he's been able to get the upper hand. And he tosses it back in now. Give him the slip. <laughs> Hooked up. Great power. The, here he goes for the win. Can he close it out? Kicks out. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. For better or more likely worse, Wyatt could possibly go all night at this pace. Oh, look at his aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Oh, easy. Oof, that's going to echo in your ear for a bit. Wyatt with a debilitating chain of maneuvers. But Eric can't allow this burst to hinder him. He might be able to start mounting something here. But Eric has to push now while there's an opening. Wait a second, wait a second! German suplex! Counters! And look at this now, yes! Applying the submission hold! Oh, this one's over! Tap out, coming! And breaks the hold, but damage has been done! Not the position you want to be in right now! Oh, right to the There's a cover. Could be it. Got it. No, oh, just a two. He just won't give up. With authority. Beautiful suplex. Decision likely going to pay for it in the rest of this match. Boom! Summon the sister. Why it seems like he truly enjoyed that. Admiring his handiwork once again. And now thrown back into the ring. Why it's starting to get the crowd involved. He's going for it all. From the top. Results of this battle plain to see on their face. At least they can say they won the match. He was like a man possessed out there tonight. Like Bray had an ethereal advantage in the ring.
Look who's here. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 446 pounds. Take a look at the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. Here comes the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels, and his bodyguard, Diesel. And their opponents at a combined weight of 544 pounds, Shawn Michaels and Diesel. Dudes win attitude. These two have been running roughshod over the WWE ever since they joined forces. Yeah, now the combined power of Diesel and the athletic ability of HBK have made them unstoppable. I agree, as long as their egos don't get in the way. We've seen these two bend the rules on many occasions. I call them two dudes with bad attitudes. I'm sure they'll sleep well at night with all the titles and money they've earned. Here we go with HBK and Diesel teaming up once again, a team built of power and speed. Yeah, there's no wonder why they've been so successful. The two dudes with attitudes are nearly unstoppable between the ropes, but we've seen them butt heads before. Yeah, Corey. Well, we're about to see if they're in sync here tonight or not. But their opponents are tired of hearing about them. Tonight's about stealing a spotlight. It's about establishing a new regime around these parts. You could sense the disdain before the bell even rang. He is delivering elbow after elbow. He went right into that turnbuckle. Pinpointing the leg. Nice. About to be the proverbial one-legged man in the you-know-what kicking contest. Power with a sidewalk slam. Able to evade. Here it comes. Looking for Joke Slam. Thunderous. He's taking some good hits. He was elusive there. What a shot. Counter. And now there's an opening. Setting up for the Bulldog! Face first. Tagged in. Lands face first! Fought back with a punch to the gut. A big kick to the gut and a thunderous forearm to follow. And Diesel is countered. Right now. Uh oh, submission move. Fujiwara on bomb. Trying to find a way out. And he's out and delivers a knee. Side slam. Nice. This could do it. No, he bites the shoulder before three. Just barely, but it 
counts. Tag is made, and here we go. Pulled back. He's got him down. Is this it? Stops the count before it, too. Showing his determination there with that kick out. Brutal face buster. And the ref needs to check on that fresh cut on Diesel. Getting set up for something in the corner. front as this match continues. Gets him with the counter. Oh, Ooh, what a knee lift. Somebody better check his nose. Oh, just deadlifting their opponent. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Boom, what an uppercut. There it is. Up and face first, Slapjack. With the Lariat. Clearly waiting for that. Headlock. Oh, a cheap shot right above the eye. Oh, sit out slam. Will this be enough? No, he kicks out. Not time to expect victory yet. The wherewithal, the counter HBK. He's been placed in the corner now. Caught him right the jaw. What a, what a shot. That'll stop you in your tracks. Hurricanrana. This can only be bad for him. Inverted atomic drop. Ooh. Shawn Michaels has taken command. And HBK is all fired up. He's got him down. Is this it? Power is thorough after two. He's determined to keep this matchup going. A humiliating slap. Diesel with the tag. Tag made. We've seen some great chemistry from this team here, Michael. Yeah, incredible chemistry. Just like that. Oh. to the body, looking to fight his way out. Next. 
I'll drive her on its way. Oh, oh man. Spiked him. Sean nailed it. Cover. And finally, finally, he picks up the victory. Here are your winners. Shawn Michaels and Diesel. Dudes with attitude. Shawn Michaels leads the way en route to victory here tonight. Diesel and Michaels are at the top of their game. Winning is just what they do. Symphony can only mean one thing. It is time for Seth freaking Rollins. Listen to the WWE Universe. They're singing along, and they're not done yet. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds. The NXT Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! Rollins is an architect, a visionary, and a revolutionary who adapts to challenges like a chameleon. Seth Rollins will do whatever it takes, find any strategy to further his greatness. talking and his opponent from Pennsylvania weighing in at 200 pounds the NXT Champion, Adam Cole! Hey, where's the horse? What are you talking about? Yeah, what horse? The high horse this superstar always seems to be on. Did Jerry Lawler write that line for you? If he wants to be able to walk out here with a victory, he's got to be able to adapt against Seth Rollins. It is crucial for his survival. Entering 
this match against the champ, you really got to feel like the underdog. Even though it's not a title match, you've got to go into this match like it is one. If you take it too lightly, the champ will chew you up and spit you out. It's definitely a time to prove if you're the future or fodder. Too bad for them, they have to contend with the visionary, the revolutionary Seth freaking Rollins. Well, much like Corey here, Seth Rollins really has been believing his own hype the last few years. Truth is, with skills like his, I don't know, maybe he should. Oh God, that hurt. This match grinded him down a little. Furious offense from Rollins. His temper's flaring right now. Versatility from Rollins. Down with a face buster. And will this be it? And he kicks out at two. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Can he do it here? Trying to steal him here. Gets reversed. Is it enough? Oh, that gets reversed. Into the cover. Not even a one count there. These men knew this match is going to be hard fought. Rollins believes a lot of his own hype, but the hype is certainly warranted. What does it take to topple the self-proclaimed visionary? You need to be on your game. For all his bravado, Seth Rollins absolutely has the skills to back it up, and it is crucial that you meet him at his level. He's on the ropes. The official sees that it waves off the pen. Able to reverse that one. And a ball right to the nose. From behind, six up. Inverted DDT. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Insulting. Oh, my. Inflicting pain at will. And Rollins with the step behind. Stopping straight down on the arm. He's channeling the crowd's energy. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. Oh, and then the chest as well. Seth Rollins just getting dismantled. Whoa. Rollins really being met at his own level here. Now Rollins looking for some momentum. Seth weathered the storm and wants to create a flurry of his own. Running leg drop. Oh, ouch. And he scores a reversal on Rollins. Bang! Never saw it coming. position. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh is right. They need to be aware of a count out right now. And gets tossed back into the back. Rollins on the move. Down low with the stop. Now Rollins needs to end this. Cover. What is the ref doing? Don't worry about that now. Get down and count. I thought for sure this thing was wrapped up. Well, stay in your seat. Looks like we've got a ways to go yet. And Rollins not handling this well. That was it, for all he knew. But it wasn't. Going up top. Oh, my God. Moonsault. You see that height. Cover. There's two. Words off the pin at two. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Man. What an incredible moonsault. He's looking shaky at best now. Might want to walk. Finally, it's over. Here is your winner. Sad freaking Rollins. What a big win for Seth Rollins. When you're Seth freaking Rollins, you expect a certain amount of success like this.
All in a day's work for the visionary. ready to lay the smackdown. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 275 pounds, The Rock! You know, we always say you never know who's going to show up inside the NXT arena, but I don't think anyone expected this man. Think of all the members of The Rock's family that have competed in the hallow halls of NXT. From the Usos to Roman Reigns, now The Rock himself stepping foot inside the NXT ring. The Brahma Bull has an immense amount of momentum behind him. Yeah, and you can see that he's dead set on regaining his spot at the top. Here comes the smug face of Imperium. And his opponent, representing Imperium from South Tyrol, Italy, weighing in at 220 pounds. One half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, Giovanni Vinci! A man who believes the mat is sacred, but why not look good doing it? His resume looks good too. Multiple NXT tag title reigns and complete dominance alongside Imperium. This competitor has the pressure of the world on his shoulders, not only facing The Rock, but also having to deal with the millions in the WWE Universe. And here we go. When it comes to The Rock, everything is about owning his opponent. That includes owning them on the microphone and the ring. The great one sets a tone like no one else and brings that Shoulder up at two. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Looking wobbly in the corner. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. Stops. Oh, man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. And Vinci gets that set right back to him. Compressing the neck with that kind of force can't feel good. What a cross body! Into the pin attempt. Kicks out on the pinfall attempt. Could be in search of a second win now. Snap power 
power slam. Quickly, the cover. And the rock kicks out. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Saw that one coming. Overhead, belly to belly by the great one. The Rock has seen and done it all in WWE, but all of his accolades have come with their share of injuries. But don't count on that to be a factor, Cole. The Rock is in the best shape of his career, and even when things go wrong, the Great One can still gut it out and get the W. He's lost some of his win now. Yeah, Giovanni delivering the pain. Attackers. What is it you always say, Graves? Gotta have eyes in the back of your head. At all times. This is exactly why. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring. The Queen of Spades. South Dakota. And NXT. The Queen of Spades. Shayna Baszler. A menacing look in her eye. Michael, I think you mean terrifying? Baszler is ready to subdue any and all opposition she encounters. Baszler just absolutely loves combat in any form. You say that like it's a bad thing. The intensity in her eyes tells you all you need to know about Shayna Baszler. Yeah, when that mouth guard goes in, all bets are off. Miss two titles is here. And from the Queen City, the NXT Women's Champion, and the NXT Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. She has to be riding high with those two titles in hand. All that work she put in has clearly paid off, and she's got both of those championships to prove it.
We are looking at one of the greatest competitors in women's division history, and there's your proof. She is tough, she is determined, and she is standing tall at the top of WWE. And with all the big names in WWE, here's Charlotte Flair, a woman who is in class all her own. Legacy, natural ability, poise, Charlotte. And into the count. Two. Just gets the shoulder up. Able to squeeze that shoulder out. So close. Places her right in the corner. Oof. Running knee in the corner. Impressive reversal there. She slips outside. What has she got in mind? And now gets tossed into the ring. An elbow will break that up. These two showing how well scouted they each are. Side slam. Next. The shoulders. Oh, uh -oh. no. Backpack stutter! Corey, if there's one thing you would say Shayna Baszler needs to focus on during this matchup, what's it going to be? And please don't say winning. I actually wasn't going to say winning, Cole. I was going to say stamina. Baszler loves to think about the end goal of victory, but sometimes she'll forget it's a marathon, not a sprint. So if she can focus on maintaining a high level of stamina, she'll definitely be better for it. Great counter by Baszler. Baszler is not taking this lying down anymore. Now's a chance for Baszler to get back into this match. Sent into the corner. Knife edge chop. Oh, target in the arm. This has got to hurt. Hard to grab or apply a proper hold after a move like that. by the ankles. Whoa. Crashing down like that, having the wind knocked out of you. Never a good time for that to happen. Shoulders down, this could be it. A kick out before the referee can get to one. Staying in this one. And she and Baszler scouted. Nasty chop delivered by Charlotte. Followed by Natural. He got the shoulders down. And now the The superstar victorious after a hard fought battle. Uh, a grab a chair. No. No, put, put that chair down. Hasn't enough damage been done? Not when there's an issue this deeply personal, but oh, thank, thank goodness. goodness. This superstar better thank their lucky stars. This could have been a lot worse.